Hi, my name is Josh Murdoch, Instructional Designer at Valencia College's West Campus, and today I'm going to dive into a couple of the new features in Service Pack 14 related to test options. Now there's some great new features that make your life a little more convenient, and we're going to dive right into these features. And the easiest way to get there is go to, to edit your test options and you'll be able to check out several of these new features. Now, many of them look very similar as the things offered before, but there are a lot of new enhancements and the placement of things have changed a little bit. So as we scroll down, we'll see a lot of things that are very similar as what we saw, but one of the things under multiple attempts and say we allow three attempts for a test. Now with this, before you had to jump into the grade center, change how it's offered as instead of the last graded attempt, if you wanted the highest grade or if you wanted the average of the grade graded attempts or something like that, you had to dive into the grade center. Now you can do it right when you're setting up the test. So I'm gonna go ahead and check, check the highest grade. As we go down, we'll see a lot of the options, force completion, set timer, display after until dates, things like that. But one of the new options you'll see is test availability exceptions. Now this will really help you when you have a student that needs extra time, you need a student that needs to test deployed for them because of some reason they were sick or not able to take it, something happened. So this can give that exception for that one student or group of students, um, depending on how you want that set up. So all you have to do is add a user or group and then add the student and choose the different things. So maybe you're gonna give them multiple attempts. Um, maybe you're gonna go ahead and um, extend their time from 60 minutes to 120 minutes. Um, take off the auto submit maybe change force completion or availability dates of lots of different options there you can also remove all these exceptions if you need to as well one of the other new things under due date is you have the option now to check do not allow students to start the test if the due date has passed so this will not let students start even if the test is available they cannot start the test um, after the due date so this is really for those that want to keep that due date and make sure no one takes the test after that due date. You'll also see a couple things when you scroll a little farther down. One of the things is show test results. Now that was there in the past, but before you could only check score, correct answers, submitted answers, and feedback. Now you're actually able to deploy it in a certain format. So you're able to say after submission, just show the score maybe and then we could change it. So after the due date, I'll show them the score and all the, all the answers, correct submitted answers, feedback, everything. It just depends on how you want this deployed. But now you don't have to go back in there after the due date or after it's available, um, after the availability ends to change that to show them the answers. So they go back and reflect in their my grades area on the test results. Those are some of the just options that are new in Service Pack 14, these are great new features for tests that a lot of instructors have asked for for a while. So hopefully you'll get a lot of great use out of these. Uh, remember, if you need to contact us for any help or questions as you're working through these, um, contact us at onlinehelp at valenciacollege.edu. Again, my name's Josh Murdoch, instructional designer. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us and have a great day and be prepared to see more of these videos in the near future. Thanks.